Welcome to Dan DGEN, where we take the more risky aspects of digital assets and cryptocurrency and break down the new project. So today what I want to talk to you about is, is a project we had talked or spoken about recently, and it was called uh, the Cryptoverse. And it was a metaverse play, and it looked very promising. And uh, there's been some development, so I wanted to bring everybody in and just talk about it real quick about exactly uh, what is going on. And to help me do that, I'm going to bring in, uh, this is Dan. Uh, he's from the Cryptoverse uh, themselves, and he's going to help me kind of explain exactly the updates and what's happening. Dan, uh, first of all, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, how does, how does your role fit in with uh, the Cryptoverse and what's going on right now? Uh, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure to be, be on the show. Um, I'm the, the Cryptoverse marketing lead at the moment. So essentially my job is to is to get this thing as far and wide as possible over the next couple of years. You know, how do we get yeah. as many people, uh, consumers, businesses to to get in and understand the potential of, of a metaverse, right? Yeah, and see, that that is the big thing because right now there's a lot of metaverses going on, but we have to understand, and that's for everybody watching, this is a very long play this is not like oh i'll just do some day trading on some metaverse place that is that is not how it's going to go down so it's going to be a long it's going to be a long sought out time frame uh that's what i think so what we'll do real quick is to catch you up about with what is going on i need to take everybody back a little bit as far as what the heck the cryptoverse is and like i talk about will it make the cut so uh just real quick we've done a video about this uh around february or so uh, pretty well received. Of course, this is on Dan Degen over on the main channel, Digital Asset News. We do more of the uh, meat and potatoes types of stuff. And this, of course, is the more riskier aspects about what's going on. And the thing that we always take, take a look back is because we're trying to protect as many investors as we possibly can. We take a look at the cut you know, for all these new projects. Uh, how big is the community? What's the community doing? Because that's really what helps to grow the ecosystem. Uh, the utility, uh, what makes it different uh, and how does it compare? And we take a look at the team. We don't know, uh, you know what they've all encompassed, but it's, it's easy to take a look at what they've done before to get kind of an idea about where we're going. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the tokenomics. So I'm going to run down this quite uh, quick, but you can find this video as a link in the description so you can watch the whole shebang. So first up, and Dan, you're going to help tell me about this one. So the community, it's a rising community. Here's the Cryptoverse itself. You guys, then this is just Twitter, just so you guys know, 22,000 followers, pretty good. And then also, uh, of course, uh, the main uh, coupling, which is Chain Guardians, uh, which is what this is all being built on. And Chain Guardians themselves, it looks like they got 77,000 or so followers and a thriving game and all those things. So Dan, tell me, where do you guys uh, actually hang out and how big is the community and is it, uh, how is it growing? Uh, so we hang out, on uh, Discord, on Telegram, all the sort of typical places you'd expect to find someone like us. Uh, we've got uh, thousands of people in, in both communities and uh, it is growing all the time. We'll, to get people engaged, we have sort of weekly games, weekly events, constant AMAs. Um, we're doing plenty of things to keep the community engaged. Yeah. And then just to, to build on that, I needed to, to make mention that this is uh, super early. Now, this is a tweet uh, when was this? This was on March 9th. And as far as the roadmap itself, I mean, we're super, this is Q1. You guys just had website registration, uh, parcel selection to private round pre-sales. And now we're just getting into Q2. We're looking at, uh, we are June 19th, 2022. And this is when everything starts to, starts to happen. So just so everybody knows, if you're watching this video, you are, you are beyond early, we'll just say. All right. So, we'll, so as far as the the cut goes, we talked about the community. Let's talk about the utility team and tokenomics quickly, and then we'll get to the big stuff. So, the utility for me when we did this video, which made it stand out, is that if you like uh, Decentraland, the other types of of uh, metaverse plays out there, uh, they're very blocky, and it worked for you know Minecraft and things like that. But a lot of gamers are looking for the cutting edge graphics, and that's what was interesting to me is that you guys use the Unreal Engine. And the gameplay is going to look uh, pretty crisp. On top of that, it's a big multi-chain world. I know that uh, what initially gave me pause is I saw that it was an ERC-20 token, which is the governance token, which is Chain Guardians. I was like, that's not going to happen. But of course, with the metaverse, the cryptoverse, you guys also have multi-chain world, which is Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, and Avalanche. So I am happy that you guys have done that because I don't see a way to just build things on just strictly on Ethereum. Also, 
it's a, a pretty big landmass. It's not just one place. And to break this down, this is the Cryptoverse map. Just so you know, there's the hub, which is where everybody starts. Also, you won't be able to teleport, uh, which I like personally, because now you have to, uh, people can purchase uh, taxis, planes, automobiles, any types of things, which I think, uh, quite honestly, if it's a play to earn game, you can actually uh, make a little bit of money and it's job creation in that way. And of course, other NFTs to, to get, take stock. You have a games and entertainment zone, which is Little, Le Little Vegas and Player vs. Player Domes. Also, another, another island is education, which I think is important, especially in the space so people don't get ripped off. They understand exactly what blockchain technology is. Then you have high culture. This is another, another land area where you get things like art galleries, NFTs, fashion, open air theaters, and all that good stuff. Business. And I see this as like a direct competition with Microsoft and the Met and Metaverse play at their building because you can't just do a bunch of entertainment without building in uh, a lot of different uh, business aspects. Maybe you want to go to a place to have uh, just a, a boardroom meeting or to talk to people across the way because these days it seems like we're doing a lot of work from home. And then this is my favorite, <laughs> the underworld. And there's three different levels. And this is the not safe for work stuff because let's be adults. Uh, that's what makes the world go around. Unfortunately, I don't know, or fortunately, I can give you a little experience. I lived in Vegas for a couple of years and I can tell you gambling uh, seems to pull people in for some reason. Uh, it's crazy. And then next to last is Colan, which I think is, you guys should really rename. I think it's hilarious. But that's the key, <laughs> that's the key opinion leaders land, which is what, where I have bought uh, land itself. And then uh, those are the, the land systems. And another part about what makes it interesting is you have a prana system. So uh, the more you play, the more you kind of earn, and it kind of gives you into a social layer so you can actually build up things. So it's like a multiplier of the things you actually earn on the platform. You got a thing called land clearing, which is, first of all, uh, Dan, on this one, I'm going to be honest with you, which is this. Uh, I am not a builder, and I don't have any type of developer skills. So when I saw this little piece here where it said, hey, this is land clearing, and then well, you can do uh, land building. And this is for people like Rob, who has no idea as far as how to build it. And it kind of builds it all into it. And then also what's great is that if you can't afford the land, well, you can work the land in the game and then you can actually buy it later. And then what I think was cool about this is that for the land clearing, you have this thing called land sharding. So if you are getting in early, let's say you buy a small piece of land or a medium piece of land or a large piece of land. You can break that, that piece of land up. Let's say you buy it for 100 chain guardian tokens, whatever it's going to cost you. And then you say, well, I don't want to sell the whole thing, but I want to break these things up. This is exactly what me and my wife do for real estate. We buy physical land. We have a surveyor come out. They say, oh, you have a couple acres. Let's break this up. Uh, you got to pay the city or the county so much. Then you can sell you know, plots of land along the way. The same thing is happening here. Also, I think that's great. So you can actually generate revenue. Also, you can rent the land out for whatever becomes of it. So this was the most interesting or one of the most interesting parts about it to bring it in. And then uh, lastly, so we talk about the community, the utility, the team itself, Emma Lou, Robbie uh, Cochran, Aiden Lou. These are the uh, brainiacs behind the project and also Chain Guardians. Also, Robbie here is part of the Decentraland University. So uh, he's got a little bit of experience as far as these uh, metaverse plays because it's one of the bigger ones right now. And I think maybe Cryptoverse will be bigger. You got uh, Noy Sakata, Sakta, sorry. And he's got a veteran artist with uh, ties to DC Comics, Nintendo, and Disney. And of course, no, no project is complete without developers. And you got, he's got a bunch of them with years and years of experience. So this is looking pretty good. And now we'll talk quickly about the tokenomics. Chain Guardians, the total supply is 120 million. Let me say that one more time. It's only 120 million. So yes, the price has gone down, but if you're looking at max supply, total supply and market cap, this is only a 32 million. Well, it was 32 million. Now it's, it's uh, below 10 million. So this might be one of those plays to take a deeper look at. And finally, token economics, just so you know, the release schedule. Uh, they've already ramped up already. So before 2022, that was the time that if you had a bunch of private sales, probably would have done a little bit of dumping. But uh, you still see over here that uh, the majority goes to the community. 11% is the ecosystem. 
23% of his team and advisors because guess what? You got to pay those people to, to build this thing and, and, and keep it up. 19% early supporters and 2% for the public sale, but there's going to be a lot more on the horizon. So, whew, that was a lot. I just want to catch everybody <laughs> up. Again, if you want to see the whole video, I'll link in the description, but that's what we have. So, Dan, now it's your turn. So I can stop talking. What the heck is going on today as far as uh, minting and land sales? Uh, so, yeah, we, we held off our first land sale back in March, which we touched upon, and we sold maybe kind of 10% of the land off, right? So right. we've still got about sort of 80, 90% of the land for future rounds and different kind of sales that we've got planned uh, in the future. But we're really excited at the moment because we're holding our very first land mint. Um, so we've got this land picker tool that we can sort of talk through if we've got time. But essentially, from tomorrow, June 20th, uh, 3 p.m. Oh, UTC, um, you, users are going to be able to select their land in, in the cryptoverse and kind of start their stories right there. So um, it's a completely very slick, uh, very uh, well-designed tool built by people that kind of know the sort of pitfalls and um, good things about previous land pickers. So we've got that and I really put that in mind when we designed this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And that kind of plays into, that's what experience can do for you. Like with these guys. Gotcha. Yeah. So what I'm going to have you do now is walk us through this. You sent me a video of how this all works for his land minting. So let me add this in and just talk us through what's going on here. So right now, what you're seeing is our land minting tool uh, in action, essentially. You can already see it's a very beautiful piece of, of software that we've put together. It just looks fantastic. Um, there's actually 500,000 plots here to choose from. So we've sort of cut them all out individually. So I'll tell you, that was a... Uh, a long night for me in the office that was <laughs> uh, but yeah what you're looking at here is uh, you, you can sort of select the size of the land that you want to want to choose you can select the location you can you talked about the different areas earlier in terms of the underworld column underworld. high society exactly yeah you, you can choose exactly where you want to mint right so um it's a really easy tool to use uh, it's just a case of okay clicking on what you want to use and you, you mint it right and then it's done and, and and you're in and you're in the crypto verse so uh, we're really excited for people to use it um plenty of people uh are going to be logging on tomorrow to get, make sure they get the best part guess the best spot down by the sea or in a, in a sort of high um right high uh, population area so we're really excited for people to use it yeah, and I was just going to to pause this real quick because, you know, here we are on the MetaMask wallet. And it looks like, I mean, the price itself, 0. 0.0004, it's very cheap for all the minting process. This is the, this is the power of uh, multi-chain. Again, uh, we talked to the team over at, uh, at Avagachi. They're also building on Polygon. I, and they said, we got a lot of transactions. And, there's, and they said, without, if we built this on Ethereum, it never would have worked. So I can kind of see where things are going here. Yeah, yeah so, absolutely. Yeah, so we confirm everything's good. And then it just looks like it's a pretty, now it's a pretty easy thing. Now here's the, the question I have. You sent me another one, another video. I'm going to add this in as well. This looks like something different though. What is this? Exactly. So whilst we've, we've sold a lot of land and, and VCs, everybody is sort of going to be doing that tomorrow and picking their place in the Cryptoverse. Uh, with, alongside the, the land minting tool, we're also launching the Cryptoverse Marketplace. So uh, for people that weren't able to secure land this time, actually, this is how people get involved. This is how they can go in and find themselves some land uh, from tomorrow after three, three o'clock, essentially. So this, this again, this, this marketplace has been designed by people that know, uh, have studied the marketplace, right, to see what works and see what doesn't work. And it's very streamlined, very... Uh, beautiful looking solution um, and we stressed it to tested it to death right so uh, from tomorrow people will be able to view all of their cryptoverse assets in yeah. this uh, internal location perfect and i was just looking at the price this one says list of price 55 is that cgg is that chain guardians exactly so all uh, transaction on the cryptoverse uh, marketplace will be in CGG, absolutely. Uh, you, you, obviously, you can go to other marketplaces to to list and and sell your land as well. And we'll be uh, working with we're partnering with a, a couple more of those to make sure that um, we get some unique land available on theirs too coming forward. Yeah, perfect. So just so everybody knows, fifty five CGG uh, right now. The price of Chain Guardians. Let me see if I can flip back, make this uh, work out. Right now, the price of uh, of Chain Guardians themselves. You're looking at. Uh, a whopping 11 cents 
so that might be a placeholder um, amount, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if you're looking at uh, maybe to to buy some land, now that that is uh, of of course uh, up to everybody and what they want to do. So uh, there it is for exactly the process for getting through. Dan, Dan, what I'll say is, how do they find this marketplace? We'll just you know, send me a link and they can go from there. Absolutely. It's as easy as typing in uh, cryptoverse.vip into your browser and, you, and you'll be straight there tomorrow. So uh, just on our homepage, uh, you'll be able to access it that way. Ah, oh, perfect. You know what I'm going to do? Let's, uh, let's have some fun. Cryptoverse.vip, correct? Okay, so this is, just so you know, Cryptoverse.vip, this is the website you'll probably see. It may look a little bit different. Here's the graphics we were talking about. And then tomorrow, there'll be a little a link somewhere else. And I, you know what? Why don't you do this if you're watching the video? Follow uh, me on uh, Twitter, and I'll also link uh, the Cryptoverse for their Twitter account and also their Telegram account so you can follow all this stuff and uh, you don't get scammed out. So that's what's going on. All right, Dan, great stuff. Anything that we missed to talk about? Uh, just that we'll also be holding some uh, trading competitions for Cryptoverse land. So people that want to uh, trade Cryptoverse land in the marketplace over the next couple of weeks will actually have to be uh, potentially win more land, right? So it's all about land for us. We're just, we're land crazy right now. Well, I got to tell you, and this is what we were talking about beforehand. Um, me and my wife, like we bought these plots of land uh, here in El Paso and, and a couple in Houston. And, you know, when we buy these land pieces, we're like, well, there's 10 years because that's really kind of what you got to think about 10 years. I don't think it's going to be 10 years here, but it is just something for you, the audience member to to weigh against yourself and say, does this something I want to do? And of course, uh, go from there. I am not your only piece of information or Dan. I think you guys should do as much research as you possibly can and make sure it's right for you. But uh, that's it. We're just bringing the information. Hopefully you absorb it. So everybody, thanks for stopping by. And then uh, all the links will be in the description. Thanks.